All right, so I'm hoping this time it's recording. Uh, what happened was I recorded pretty much one hour of gameplay of Hydroid, which is very cool. Uh, OBS decided to crash in the background, now making a noise, not notifying me, just letting me play for the next, I don't know how long, we'll see. Uh, I'm not sure what the title is right now, but basically what you're what you're gonna be getting here is a legendary combo. So Hydroid with his new rework is pretty much unkillable, and I've uh, stacked up even the le the legendary two <clears throat> decrees for any Warframe. So the most important ones, I suppose, would have to be casting ability boosts. No, not that one. Uh, this is, uh, any level of this is really good, it pretty much restores 40 health or 20 depending on, what, on the level. Uh, per status effect making you pretty much top, top, top on health 24-7, you're gonna see why in a second. Uh, every 50 armor grants 15% ability strength and power, power strike uh, up to 500, so you're gonna see that in action a lot. Uh, each stack of corrosive grants 180 armor up to five times for 12 seconds. What this means is, since this, well, since you know, Hydroid only deals corrosive damage 24/7, uh, this is going to be maxed all the time, making this amount give you 500% additional, um, you know, ability strength, and you're gonna see that happen in a second. Uh, we have efficiency mods here, uh, uh -huh. and we have those decrees that do the following. Uh, if an enemy is affected by status effect, there's a 50% chance it will spread it to nearby enemies. We also have all status effects deal uh, twice the damage. Uh, we have multiple decrees, decrees here uh, that increase uh, speed, uh, bo you know, boosting our speed, our everything pretty much let's see are you still recording thank you fucking asshole right everything should be fine so let's take on the jackal this is not a great place to show you the power of this warframe but it's a place nonetheless it's going to work we don't have his buff for additional corrosive damage but it is what it is We're gonna see him be absolutely invincible. Right, so let's go kill him. It, 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 it was supposed to be a wonderful recording, but it crashed. Why the fuck does OBS do that? Of course, I'll show you the build at the end of the recording as well. I was hoping for it to record... Uh, what's it called? Record the part where I conveniently got the best decrees in the game And uh, it didn't do that It stopped recording after three minutes, so now I have to keep checking As you can see we're pretty much invincible Always full on health. We also have a boost. Gross damage insta kill right there. Easy claps. bumped out that that recording had to crash. It's 
spamming its ability. Here, five, nice. Paranoid and whether or not it's gonna stop working. Hold on, let me pause the recording, do something real quick, and I'll be right back. Hello, everybody. Excuse me for the pause. Was uh, running to the store to get some snacks and a little bit of booze. I thought if, I mean, if the, if the recording was, uh, was something of a dud, then why the fuck not, uh, you know, just get something, fuck it, I love those because if I get views, I get views, fuck it. Maybe I should edit, maybe I should try a little bit harder, sure, I'm not saying I shouldn't, however, I found that people are interested more in being, you know, charmed through videos. Then seeing flashy edits and blah blah blah. And as you can tell, I'm charming the fuck out of you. First I tell you that, you know, I got an excuse for not having a complete video by my OBS being a bitch. But then I leave you in a coat hanger saying, yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be back, I promise. I'm just going to get some milk. So, uh, yeah. Nothing like having a reliable YouTuber. So yeah, yeah. At least, at least I came back with the milk. All right, that's something to be congrat congratulated for, right? Level two thousand five hundred. Yes, yes, indeed. Seems like someone has uh, invited me while I wasn't here. Wait. Oh. Oh, I didn't collect these. Yeah, it's, I don't know. <laughs> One out of three, let's go. You guys having fun watching me do this? Because I am. Yes, Hydroid is quite the Warframe now. Capable, versatile, you know. Uh, the moment you have something like crowd control and DPS, on a Warframe is the moment you know you can easily just fall in love with it. Hydroid being that Warframe now is uh, exactly what we've been waiting for. Well, not we, certain people, I guess. Personally, if you are a subscriber of the channel, you can probably tell that I like Volt. That boy has gotten me through. Stop running, stop running, stop running, stop running. That boy has gotten me through everything. Everything. <laughs> I like him. He's not he's not perfect, he's not the best, but he's one of the finest ones that'll ever be. <laughs> I if I if I have to choose what would be the hardest mission. Exterminate, sure. 
If I had to choose what would be the hardest mission I've ever done in my entire life, like, uh, entire life, entire game, let's see, uh, it puts the last effects, yeah, sure, healing, whatever, doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, enemies will pick up a cold, drone, fire, uh, whatever, doesn't matter, we got the best decrees, like I said. The hardest mission I've ever had the chance of doing was when sorties got released, at, you know, the first time they got released. What happened was, uh, we would have, e well, just like now, we have three missions. One of them is this, the second one is that, the third one has a chance to be a, what's it called, assassination mission. Uh, what that means is, uh, it can be any boss fight out there. One of those uh, fights was the, what was it, a the Ambulus Project, I believe it's called. It's that, you know, Corpus um, MOA that's super powerful and can be hacked by you or the enemy. I'm not sure if you even got to that mission yet, or if you forgot about it, it can be anything. Essentially, uh, I got that once as a sortie mission. Level 100, uh, there were no arcanes at the time, there were no ribbons, I think. Or were they? I don't remember. Essentially, it was super raw, super hard. And... Uh, I think I've tried every warfare in my arsenal to solo that mission, since I do only solo missions. Uh, I nearly... I don't know. I lost my shit. Using every warframe under the sun, every technique, meta, every... everything. And eventually, after... well, after fighting uh, with every warframe, Limbo, Mesa, uh, Valkyr, uh, Inaros, everybody, everybody, everybody. What got me through... Excavation, right? Fellows, I think that's good. I don't want to go any further. Don't care. Anyways, yeah. So... Don't ignore the time on the top left. It's counting how long I've been in the mission. Doesn't really count how long I've been actually fighting. So that's pretty much... Let's call it one hour. It's the 47 minutes is false. So, essentially... Um, the hardest mission I did was, I don't know what it is, the Ambulus Project, fuck off. I don't know what it is. It was the hardest mission that I've ever done and Volt that got me through it, so now, and I, I mean, I've been maining him ever since. So now he's my guy, if I want to play anything, but this is the build, it's basically... Somewhat efficiency, a lot of duration, range, and strength, who gives a fuck? Just cast a bunch of these to really fuck up enemies. You also do need this augment to have also viral on the enemy. Meaning that once you're done stripping their armor with corrosive, you can start killing them with viral uh, on your first. This is the build, it's very simple. You can put anything here, doesn't matter. We have just a tad, tad bit of strength, duration, range. We have the augment, tempest, uh... Barrage Augment. Each projectile has a 100% chance to of inflicting viral status effect. That's what you got from this. Flow for extra energy compared with Arcane Energize. If you don't have Arcane Energize, since it is very expensive, there's different ways of inquiring energy. You can replace this with uh, Gara's ability, a subsumable like this, uh, where there's like mirrors around and enemies dying and that within those mirrors drop energy or something else. You can also subsume uh, Protea. That also works, I guess. Uh, duration, efficiency, uh, range. That's what you got. As for the weapons I was using, it's not even important. I was barely using them. Uh, the rolls are absolute fucking garbage anyways. I'm glad to not be using it. But that's, that's the main reason why I don't play the circuit. It fucking sucks. Right, so the circuit, skip, we got what we wanted, the imprint for that, so now we have most, well pretty much all of the incarnons, we can rest at peace now. Now what does this person want? I'll talk to him in a minute. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed, that was a very rare chance, it's still recording, surprised! That was a very ch uh, rare thing for me to get Hydroid there, 
you never really get anything Check good. Now I even got an inbox. Who the fuck? Econ on Genesis. Okay, so let's read this message we've got just got. Hey, heard you've been grubbing around in the Zerman's backyard. That, li uh, that little Timput kingdom. Well, in my ex extensive uh, downtime, I've been having uh, thoughts about weapons, how I could upgrade them. Give him a... Uh, is he referring to the imprint I just got? Uh, a, spr a sprinkle of void magic, and guess what? The void did what the void does. Took my ideas and made them real. How about that? So if you picked up a... Uh, picked up a... Let's call it Incarn on Genesis, why not? And Incarn on Genesis bring you... Okay, so this is the new update. That profile picture is top notch. All right, P.P.S. Uh, Yanta says I need to say this very clearly. I cannot adapt a weapon you do not own. I will need both the Incarnon Genesis and the weapon. Yeah, 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 whatever. Right. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I would edit this and do all that, but it was very sudden. I didn't want to lose the opportunity of Hydroid. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, essentially, I explained all the the combos when it comes to the crease which you need and that would be it you saw the build as well I don't have anything else to show you unless you want to see how to make a gender uh, pattern frame hold on because some warframes are super hard to make look good yeah there's my janitor right there yay janitor he also has like a I don't know water at the back or something so, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed that little show of level 2500s. I'm sorry that OBS crashed, it was a lot more fun the previous footage. And we've already recorded 17 minutes, and...